All right, this is a $21 order on Uber, going six miles, but there shouldn't be any traffic this morning. It's Saturday, so we should be fine. right at the entrance slash exit of the freeway but it's all good uh, base pay is nine dollars so it's pretty good it's 751 I have 10 minutes to go back to the store uh, so I'll be back at 8 I'm hoping today can be pretty busy yesterday was busy ish but we'll see how today goes uh, I mean, every Saturday and Sunday that I've had for the past month and a half, I've had pretty good weekends, not gonna lie. So I hope it continues this way, to be honest. All right, so we have two orders here. One plus the beer is Uber. I don't remember how much. And the rest is Instacart, 19. I'm gonna go deliver the Uber first. They're, they're like half a mile away from each other, so it doesn't really matter. All right, first drop off is complete. Um, okay, can you go please? Or do we have to wait three business days for you to actually unstick your fingers? Um, so, the first drop off had alcohol, but he answered the door, ID ready. And now I'm gonna go deliver the second one, which is six minutes away. So technically, uh, I received the Instacart order towards the end of the shop for the Uber, but the Uber did not have anything cold or frozen or hot. So I was like, instead of coming here, going back, considering that checkout for the Uber kind of took a little bit because I had to wait in line, right, for the beer. So I got out of checkout. I was just waiting. So I hadn't put anything on the belt yet. So I was like, okay. So I. Get, I got out of the Take checkout the lane and it took me exactly nine minutes to shop for the Instacart. I checked the timer. When I received the order, I was like, oh, well, 47 uh, units or something like that. But then it was only 17 items. So I was like, she probably has a bunch of like uh, produce, right? This, that, usually that's what it is. And that's what it was. She wanted five radishes, but bunches of radishes. She wanted six tomatoes. She wanted six lemons. So it's already like uh, 17 items out of the way just for that. Then she wanted four packages of napkins. She, you know, it's easy. Literally, that's an easy order. And like I said, they are like half a mile or a mile away from each other. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do both at the same time because this morning has been a little bit slow-ish. I was expecting today to be really busy in the morning like it's always for me uh, on Saturdays, but I guess not today. So, I mean, I did get the 21 on Uber. That's day 21, by the way. He tipped $12, please and thank you. And then I got those two and I was like, okay, whatever. Um, the Instacart might go down because I had to refund the chips and the brie whatever uh, she didn't want any replacements so i refunded those two i don't necessarily need uh twenty five thousand dollar orders all day i just need enough orders for me to make my money now granted if they send me only eighty dollar orders i'm gonna make a lot more money in a l way less time than if they send me only sixteen dollar orders but you can always have the best orders all the time you know and i i, pr I almost never receive those orders uh, why? Because so my friend told me that the Russians are, uh, they're not, they're pissed at each other because the, the bot user is back at it again. But this time he uses a GPS spoofer. So he stays home, uses the GPS to make it look like he is at the store so he can get the orders and he gets them. So 
Uh, you know, at, at this point, I'm really focusing on myself. I don't care what they do. I don't care what orders they get. Like, my friend was like, yesterday they made a how many hundred dollars? And I was like, you know, I try to focus on myself. Because if I focus on the things that they get, I'm focusing on the energy of lack. Like, I'm lacking those orders because they got them. And ultimately, I don't care what they do. Like, good for them. You know, whatever, even if they cheat the system, even if it's not fair, even if they use GPS spoofers and bots, good for them. Like, I guess they needed better, th they needed more than me because I, I just, I, whatever, may the odds be in their favor and they create their own karma with this. You know what I mean? So I'm really not trying to focus on them. I'm happy for them if they make $500 a day. And I'm trying to focus on what I do instead. Right. There are no footage of Dropbox for those two. <laughs> but I know her and basically you have to go down uh, pretty steep steps and uh, she comes to meet me at the door every time. So I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna record. And then she had somebody helping her that was there as well. So I was like, you know. but she's really, really nice. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just trying to not crash because it's pretty steep and pretty pretty small, pretty small streets. Ooh, Lord. Anyway, uh, I see that the order stayed 19. Please and thank you. Um, why do y'all have to drive in the middle of the way? I've never understood that. I mean, thank God that I have a small car so I can fit literally anywhere. I literally fit anywhere. But those people with those big ass pickup trucks that fit absolutely nowhere, that keep taking the small streets for whatever mysterious reason, like they know they don't fit, you know? Anyway, anyway, we're not going to, um, do an essay on big and small cars but never in my whole life I will get a big car ever and if I have to change this car I'll probably get a hybrid uh, a small hybrid like a Nissan Leaf or a Toyota they had some nice small cars but they discontinued them so now I'm like I'm not sure I want a car that they don't make parts for anymore what I mean but a small hybrid car would be great I don't want a complete plug-in if I can help it unless they give me money for it <laughs> okay 11 bucks uh, flat tip please and thank you it's 1008 so yes please walk in the middle of the road um, I don't know if it's gonna be hot today. It's probably gonna be like 30 degrees Celsius, so like 85. But I don't think it's gonna be hotter than the norm. We'll see. Ow. I bumped my elbow. Oh. Wow, those are some big ass lemons. Nice. I've never seen lemons that big. How are you? Right. Drop off is done. Um, she was outside getting a getting a package. So that's this on that. Wait, can I take the freeway? Or is there too many people? I can. I'm gonna take the freeway. 
Um, so, I think the first one tips $3.90, and the second one is not necessarily a great tipper, and she's always, uh, she's always paired with another order. <laughs> yeah, she, well, she tipped $9, so it's not too bad compared to every time I had her order and she had tipped 7 bucks. <laughs> But, and she didn't have that many items, but um, yeah, no, it was it was an okay batch, I guess. I mean, better this than doing nothing at all and just waiting for the perfect order that never comes. All right, this is a $21 order pickup on Uber, but it's going far and there is traffic on the way, so, oh well, it's this or absolutely nothing. Right, drop off is done. It wasn't a bad drive at all. I took the little seats, it was pretty pleasant. I've never been here. They are hidden in a long drive in a long driveway. Wait, 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 wait. Look. <laughs> Cute. Alright, let's see because I didn't see how much this order was. $21, he tipped 10 bucks. Uh, he could have tipped a little bit better, but who cares? 21 bucks, this took me 32 minutes from start to finish. Can't complain. It's 1.39, it's been slow today, what's going on? I've been used to weekends where I literally cannot sit down for one second. So, weird to me but it's okay we'll get there I guess it's just gonna take longer uh, I am over 100 right now the goal is 200 I should be able to get it I did miss a $40 order on Instacart earlier that was pretty easy like 3.8 miles for one customer but oh well it is what it is Okay, okay, this is a 16 on an Instacart. It's extremely slow today. Um, barely over 100. Uh, I will be at 125 after this. Okay. is done oh my god it's so hot today um i am trying to get out of here so um drop off was super easy took me 23 minutes overall order stayed 16 because she tipped a flat 10 she was nice during the shopping she asked to replace the nectarines with the organic ones and that's it basically everything else was in stock I mean the normal nectarines were in stock but then she wanted the organic ones which is not a problem anyway it's 2.42 I should be around 125 right now. Um, it's slow and it's hot. <laughs> and I'm tired. Uh, I just hope they keep sending me orders and I can make my goal pretty much. Everything else is not relevant. This is a 15 on Instacart. Oh my god, this is so slow today. And I'm nowhere near 200. I'm not even at 150. All right. And guess who took an $84 order? You already know who. 
while everyone else is seeing absolutely zero order at all. <sighs> 207. Is done. She tipped three dollars. Oh well. It's a slow day. All right. This is another fifteen. It might go up because he added two things. But yeah, I've delivered to him before. I I just wish they sent me a, a fifty dollar order and I will be done. Right. Do you know what? She's the second person today to tell me that my pants look really good on me. <laughs> this morning, the lady was like, wow, I love your pants. I was like, well, thank you so much. I'm flattered. Thank you so much. Um, anyway, like I said, I've delivered to him plenty of times before and $16. Okay, well, he tipped $9. He's not a bad tipper, um, but you know, but you know, uh, I like I said, I just wish I could receive the freaking 50 70 dollar orders that the Russians are getting instead of getting the 15 dollar orders all day long. You know what I mean? Like, I but I feel like my my signal is really bad. So, I mean, there is a part of they receive all of the orders, but I don't think. There is one that uses a bot and the GPS spoofer. That, that, that's for sure. But the other one doesn't use anything. Like, I don't think he's using a bot. I don't think he's using anything at all. And I think it comes down to my signal because my friend also said that his signal sucks. And right now, I'm on 4G. 4G. And I feel like that's what it is. Like, they received the bigger orders before me. Because my signal sucks. It's so weird. Uh, I need to look into that. I have a, an Android. I have a Samsung S24. I literally bought it like, what? Five months ago? I don't know, man. Uh, so, yeah. I, I don't know. It's 5.30. I'm going to try and push. I should be above 150 but I I'm, I'm gonna try and go as close as I can to 200 all right this is a $25 order on Instacart this is my last order for today there was a guy who just spat on one of the employees and he was proud of it okay July 14 is today. I'm on my way 
to deliver my first order. What the hell is going on with my hair? 7.15 on the dot. Yesterday was meh. I made $180 and I stayed at the store until 6 p.m. from 7 a.m. to from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, um, you know, the, the bus just quite literally, swiftly passed the freaking red light. The light for me went green and you just saw like the bus just went okay what happens if you crash into me because you just passed a red light and you're a bus how much money are you gonna give me it's a 15 dollar order on uber i'm hoping today uber can be a little bit busier than yesterday yesterday they, i made 62 bucks <clears throat> not happy with this is my he is the best tipper i've ever had no i'm no, I'm, I'm lying. He is the one who tipped me <clears throat> $50 once uh, for Christmas. Take two years ago. And I will never forget him. Because that day, I got tip baited. And I got a $50 tip at the same it's time. In the same day. <laughs> I will always remember this day. Uh, anyway. It was for eggs and coffee. He might go down because he wanted a pack of 18 eggs and they didn't have them. They only had the packs of 12. Anyway, let's go deliver now. And we are here. can just get a stream of orders all day I don't want to be doing like yesterday waiting and waiting and waiting and when I get an order it's like an $18 order and it was so complicated to make money yesterday really like I, and then um, my friend was like why didn't you come back to make the last $20 to make 200 I was like come on like I was at the store at 7 a.m. like I didn't leave my place at 7 I left my place at 6 45 or 6.30, I was at the store at 7 a.m. I wanna go home. <laughs> I wanna go home at 6 p.m. I don't wanna come back at 6.30 and wait until 8 to make 20 sad bucks, you know? Like, no, no. I know when not to push too far, you know? I just wanted to make more than 150. I did, and that's good enough, you know? I just hope today's gonna be a little bit busier. Um, Realistically, I would love to make $250 today. We'll see how doable this is, but um, I'm probably gonna stay until four or five today again um, because I don't have to work out today. I don't work out on weekends. I work out Monday through Friday, so I don't necessarily have to go back home early to make space for that. But at the same time, when I come back home at 6.30, I have to be in bed by 9.30 because I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. So if I want to have a decent night of sleep, I have to be in bed by 9.30. So 6.30 to 9.30, it's only three hours to have some me time and that's really not a lot, but okay, whatever. It's not every day, so we're gonna suck it up. All right, just came back. I got a $22 order on the Uber for one item. And this item is sushi it's not even eight whatever i'm gonna get paid 22 dollars to do that okay uh they made it fresh for me because it's too early and they don't have any stock but we have the sushi and now she's eight minutes away she does have a pin number though but i think i've delivered her there before let's play the guessing game if I had to guess, I would say that that person pr probably tipped two dollars or one. <laughs> uh, we'll see, but for one item, sushi is seven ninety nine. 
So let's say this order was like $12 for her or for him. There's just no way they tipped more than $2. But I mean, I guess it was rejected so many times. That's why it got to me at 22. Or maybe people accepted it, saw that it was for sushi, thought it wouldn't be available, and then unassigned it. I have no idea. But, um, not complaining. There's no apartment number, no gate code, no nothing. Alright, so, it was a kid, and he came, so th they have some apartments that are on the street, like the door is off the street, you don't need to go inside. So he came from there, and he showed me his phone for the PIN number. And I was kind of expecting it, but this was a no-tip order. I mean, $22 for this. Literally, I had nothing to do. I went to see the, the guy from the sushi. So basically, they have a sushi counter inside the store, right? Um, it's a, a specific guy who does the sushi every single day. And you go there you ask him what you want in the morning even during the day if you have a specific request and he will do it for you so that's what I do in the morning uh, I told him I'm gonna go to the restroom I went to the restroom I came back two minutes later it was ready so I legit had nothing to do but wait and then drive and this took me not even 10 minutes to drive because right now there is no traffic it's 8 01 a.m right now so please and thank you i don't like delivering to no tippers but in this case it's okay I just came back at the store and i just saw that the last kid i delivered to since he could not the uh, he could not report the delivery as not made because he had the pin number he gave me a thumbs down Now you understand why he has a pin number. All right, I just accepted a 16 on Uber. It's a pickup. So we'll see the surprise of items. And this is it, three bags, um, six miles, but I will be able to take the freeway. So we should be there in no time. Okay, okay. He is unit 101. being $19 please and thank you he tipped a flat 15 and it's 856 so it's gonna be nine in four minutes I'm going back to the store we are at $56 for the day Woo! that's nice finally getting a good morning Lord yesterday was awful I was really counting on this weekend I mean, 180 is not too bad, but you know, I am really pushing towards 200 and 250 for the weekends right now. Um, wow, what is this building? It's a house. It looks awful. I don't like this greenish color. I'm more of a blue color person. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to the store. All right, Uber is coming to the rescue today. $37 order. Um, yeah, I am very pleased. I just hope it's not a $2 tip though. Right, so I am one minute away from my Uber drop-off. He was five minutes away. In a quarter mile. And guess what? 
I have accepted an $89 order. What? On Instacart for one customer. Oh my God. You know, I was thinking, I was taking the turn to go into the freeway. And I was like, uh, to go to wait for the freeway. And I was like, it would be so great if I could be at like 1.50 before 12. Because it's literally 10.03 a.m. right now. And I... I'm gonna be after this one I would be at like 93 and I was like if I could get to 150 before 12 that would be like so great and then I got this order like I don't know meters. your destination will be on the left 10 seconds after that and let me tell you it was a joy in my in my head it was it was a party in my head I mean, I have to because I would have never got this order if I hadn't, I guess. I'm trying to see, but I'm trying to drive at the same time. So anyway, uh, this order was pretty good, except, no, except nothing actually it was pretty good. How much does the base pay? 10 bucks. So he, he tipped $27. Why am I seeing so much of the... Uh, of the tip up front. I don't, I don't know. I'm not complaining. Thank you very much. $37 in my bank account plus 80 plus $90. Woo! Oh, I'm so happy. You don't know how much I am happy. You don't know how happy I am. I have been praying for those orders to finally hit my phone. It's been so dry. Literally, like it's been so complicated with the $16 orders and the $12 orders and the, the 18 so it's it's great $18 but it's so slow to make money you know what I mean anyway oh 1008 let's go back to the store and shop for this amazing order this is the first time I received this message basically first of all when I arrived at the uber order I received a notification from instacart saying you're too far from the store and I'm like, I've never received a notification like that. Even for the big orders, I've never received a notification like that. And then when I was driving to the store, I'm literally like, I can see the store from here. When I was maybe two minutes away from the store, I received a notification that said, shopping needs to begin before 10.23 a.m. to avoid batch cancellation. It's 10.13. So I'm... Um, way early I guess so I don't know if it's because she ordered priority we're here so shopping is gonna start right now is done and I had already delivered to her once before actually uh, I like her house it's just that at the entrance they have like the steps are on like water and I, I almost missed a step <laughs> and I almost fell into the freaking fountain <laughs> have you seen the office when Michael falls into the freaking fountain when they go see a client oh my god <laughs> and they realize that Jim actually let him fall yeah. yes I like this show all right let's see I think the order went down to 81 uh, I did replace a few things with smaller items because she wanted um, the family packs and they didn't have it so I mean gonna go this way 
Not that I didn't want to give her that, but they just didn't have it, so. Oh well, it is what it is. I mean, $81. <laughs> Who is going to be mad about that? It's 11-11. Ooh, make a wish. Right, I also just saw my tip for the Uber order. I mean, I didn't see it. I need to open the freaking thing. Wow, he tipped me $31. So not only the order ended up being more, but now I'm like at $99 on Uber now. Wow, this is an amazing day. I'm almost at 200 and it's not even 12. Oh my God, thank you, Lord Jesus, because yesterday was a long day. God knows, God knows yesterday was a long day. Okay, so she tipped $67. Damn. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for that offering. And how much money have we made? We are at 181. Please and thank you. So, if I can get a $19 order before 12, I'll be at 200 before 12. I don't think that ever happened to me, ever. So, is this a challenge? Mm, I think it is, but uh, I'm so happy. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Anyway, whatever happens, happens. But God has been very good to me, despite the problems that I've been having. I'm alive. I'm in good health. And I have a roof over my head and food in my plate. And in 2024, that is, um, I am pretty fortunate indeed. Okay, so he added four items to the to the order. So I'm hoping that the order goes up to 19 bucks. All right, it's 12 o'clock on the dot. <laughs> And I think I'm at like 199 or 198 <laughs> because I'm at $99 and some change on Instacart and $99 and some change on Uber. Oh well, I don't even know how much this order ended up being. <laughs> okay, well, there is traffic, so let's see. Let's see. Them. 17 ah oh, so close to 200 oh well let's say for the sake of it that i am at 200 uh 17 dollars and 75 cents it's okay it's not too bad i mean you know i thanks to this 81 dollar order my day is gonna be very easy from now on can i go now let's go Let's not just waste our time waiting for cars that don't get here. Okay, I need to do the calculations, but I'm at almost at 200, like one or two bucks away. So, and it's 12.02. So now everything that I make is a bonus. Okay, I'm at 198.77. Okay, I should have gone freak. Uh, oh well. Not even two dollars away from two hundred. Uh, well, like I said, for the for the game of it, we're just gonna say that I'm at I'm at two hundred, and I'm insanely happy right now. All right, this is an eighteen for one of my regular customers. Uh, she has alcohol. I've delivered to her plenty of times, so we're good to go. Nukes. Cup off's done. She was waiting for me. Uh, at or, I mean, I needed to scan her ID anyway, so uh, she's very proactive in getting her order. Like, I arrived, the ID is ready with the barcode, and then she grabs stuff from the bag. So, I like her, she's a good tipper, she's nice, and uh, the delivery is always easy. She lives in a house. We're officially over 200. Woo! Hallelujah! It's 1236. I am insanely pleased insanely pleased all right let's go back to the store i have ate my lunch already so we are ready for orders all right this is a 14 on uber 
this came as a trip radar. I don't understand why. Like they will send me the order on a tri on trip radar, then I accept it, and then it will come back as a regular order. So I have to accept it twice. All right, right here. I have it to the 15 on Instacart. trip radar like I used to think that trip radar orders were shit orders that no one wants to take that they just throw it in there so anyone who's interested can take it but recently I've been seeing some good orders on trip radar like she tipped eight dollars that's great I just don't understand and I've delivered to her before she was never on trip radar I just don't understand what's going on with Uber, really. Uh, I don't understand how they decide who is going to get their order delivered to a specific driver and who is going to get on trip radar. So this order, I have delivered to her before and it came at $11. It popped at $11 on my screen for, uh, at first. And thank you for um, your signal. Um, and then it went to 13 and nobody was taking it. And when it hit 15, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I know where she lives. She's not too far away. The only thing she has that takes a while is the ham. She wants some she wants the deli to shave some ham. Oh well, whatever. It, I'd rather be doing something like I was going to deliver. Now I go back, I have an order right away rather than wait. All right, we're done shopping. Believe it or not, it took the deli 10 full minutes to cut one pound of ham shaved. 10 full minutes. And I always get the lady that's the freaking slowest ever. <sighs> there are several of them, but one is like the slowest of the slowest. She likes to repackage everything before giving me my shit. Like, you would think that cut the thing, put it in the bag, give me the bag, and then repackage whatever she was cutting to put it away. No, she cuts my stuff. She prints the receipt, she put it on the bag, and then she repackages whatever she was cutting, put it away, and then, and then she gives me my stuff. Make it make sense. This, this makes no sense at all. But anyway, I don't know why her address is listed as a business. Like, you know, the little building that shows that it's a business? That's what it shows, but it, it's not. It's a house. So I don't know. She must have chosen the wrong option when she placed her first ever order and she never changed it. Oh well, whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, it, I mean, I'm going to make $30 in less than an hour because the Uber order was 14 and some change and this one is 15 and some change. So even though, even if it goes down a little bit for whatever reason, for all of the weight and all of that stuff, it will still be a great, uh, I mean, it wasn't done at the same time, but... I don't mind. I don't mind at all. But drop off is done. I actually don't know how much it is. Why? Because they sent me another order right away and I guess nobody was taking it because they have three packs of water. But it's a house. It's $16 for 0 0.9 miles. I mean, it's 141 right now. I'm just grabbing whatever I can <laughs> grab. Uh, Uber has not been sending me anything except weird orders going really far. 
that I don't want to do or alcohol uh, so yeah I'll gladly do this one instead I mean it is what it is I guess I just have to check the, ad the address but you know like I said I just I just take the orders that they send me as long as they as they make sense all right Pick, uh, shopping is done and now he is I don't know two minutes away I, I deliver to him like several times per week those two orders were because I didn't get the previous one either All right, let's turn right here okay so the one with the boost uh, stayed 15 so we're fine and this one stayed 16 I think I did not replace anything so all right 1692 and both took me kind of like 30-ish minutes so that's $30 in one hour plus the uber 45 pretty happy with that and now I'm gonna go back to the store it's 2 10 p.m. I feel like it's 6 p.m. because I haven't stopped all day that's great I still have a good two three hours to go And, uh, make money basically I don't know how much money I've made right now but I'm at 150 on Instacart and I'm still waiting for my last tip on my uber but I should be at like 113 something like that I was saying this I literally received I saw like the notification you received an $8 tip so yeah she tipped eight dollars and I'm at go away 113 on uber okie dokie 17 on uber um, I should be before that 264 after that whatever 264 plus 17 is all right I would like to say that this order came to me on trip radar did I say that I don't understand why because this is a very good order um, the base pay the base pay is five dollars so she tipped 12 bucks for four items. Four items. Trash bags, two um, shower, shower wash, and uh, a mango bowl. $12. And it came on trip radar. I don't understand. I just don't understand how Uber is working nowadays. Like I used to know. I guess I don't anymore. Some days I receive zero zero orders. Some days I receive only trip radars. Some days I receive only pickup orders. It's very weird. I don't understand. I mean, as long as they send me orders, I guess we're fine. But I don't understand how it works anymore. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I, I used to kind of know how it worked and then you can have a strategy from there. Now it's like, even if you tip 20 bucks, your your order could get on trip radar to somebody who's not at the store, who doesn't know how to shop, never shopped in their lives. I don't know. Strange, indeed. All right, this is a 25 on Instacart. And I have accepted a 19 what I was checking out on Uber. So I'm gonna go deliver this one that's two minutes away. And I will be coming back. Drop-off's done. I have already delivered to her before, so not a problem. But... Ooh, I think I need to eat something. Uh, I don't feel that well. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to the store and shop for this uh, Uber order. Okay, ordered stayed 25. She tipped pretty well. She tipped $15. Uh, 37 minutes. I did replace a few things and we made a few adjustments. So 
it's all good and she's like literally one minute away from the store so not a problem at all and I was at checkout when I got the uber and I actually asked myself I was like do I go back in the store and shop for those 12 items and then there is one daily item in the uber order so I was like no uh, I'm not doing this because I'm gonna have to wait at the deli so I, I don't want to delay the order when she's so close like that you know it doesn't make sense okay can you go faster please good god how long does it take you oh, god anyway let's go I can already see the store from here all right sorry I'm eating because I, I didn't feel well this is my $19 order Okay, she has a pin number. So. drop-off done and I have accepted a $31 order on Instacart so I'm gonna go back and do that <laughs> uh, as I was literally walking to her door so yay I don't know how much money I've made I have no idea but I know I just know I've been making money that's all I know it's gonna be 5 p.m. in five minutes so after I'll be done with that one, it will probably be like 5.30, 5.45. It's not that many items, it's like 27. So, it shouldn't take me that long. And then she's in the hills, so there shouldn't be any traffic going there either. So, yeah. Honestly, can't complain. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how much money I've made. I w I'm over 300, that's for sure. I don't think I'm over 400. I don't know if I'm over 350. I don't know. Woo! What an amazing day! I'm so happy. I'm so happy because yesterday was so crap. All right, this is my 31. It's probably gonna go down because I had to refund a few things. Oh well, I'm really tired, so. This might be my last order. been really good to me lately even if it's like small orders they send me orders you know what I mean anyway order wow she tipped $20 damn please and thank you the order went down to 30 oh well the yes thank you very much <laughs> I'll take it it's gonna be six o'clock in ten minutes I am still waiting for my last tip on uber but there shouldn't be any problems here. Uh, all right. Ooh, lordy lord. I'm gonna go back to the store because, well, first of all, I need to pee. And second of all, I'm just gonna buy some stuff. I made the executive decision to not come tomorrow or um, you know, just go, please. I don't wanna be bullied by a Tesla driver who's 16. Uh, I made the executive decision to not come tomorrow or Tuesday. So my two days off are going to be Monday, Tuesday. 
and I'll be coming Wednesday through Sunday. I feel like I was making more money when I was coming on Wednesdays than Mondays. Uh, the only anomaly was the Monday right before the 4th of July, but otherwise I don't make that much money on Mondays. So I have this and I'm, I'm just so tired. I'm just so tired. <laughs> Like it's already 6 p.m. If I go back to the store and come back home, it's gonna be 7 p.m. or 6.45. And I need to be in bed by 9.30. So, yes sir, you're in the middle of the fucking road. Hello? So yeah, literally I go back home and two hours later I need to be in bed to get a decent night of sleep. Anyway. Anyway, I had an amazing day. I mean, if I get an order when I'm in the store, I'll take it. I don't know how much money I've made. I should receive the tip on Uber in two minutes. So I'm going to wait for that to do my calculations. I mean, I'm at 206 right now on on Instacart, 138 plus whatever tip I'm, I'm supposed to receive. Uh, so, uh <sighs> I am very grateful indeed. Okay, it's seven o'clock. I'm still here. I needed $36 to make 400. And I got a $22 order on Uber that I took. First of all, I missed a $50 order on Instacart and I was salty. Then I got a bunch of $13 orders and I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. And then I got that 22, so I took it. And then I got a $10 order on Instacart going the same way. So I was like, okay, I'll do those two. It's $32 instead of 36, whatever. But then I had to refund two things on the Instacart order. And I just realized that I forgot to buy the stuff that I wanted to buy for myself. So I don't know. I don't want to come back. I'm going to be going home at like 8. But at the same time, I'm not coming tomorrow. So I need to go and buy my own stuff because I'm not moving. Tomorrow, I am not getting in that car. <laughs> I'm just not. So I, I'm here. Uh, they are like 3 miles away from the store. So... Might as well just come back and shop for my own stuff and then go home and spend two days off, uh, you know, in a quiet and quiet time, quiet two days off because I am not driving for two days. Second drop off is four minutes away, so all good. I just need to uh, do that. Turn all right, left. I'm going to go back to the store after that. And um, if I can catch one last order, maybe I'll stay. Just to be able to do to, to say that I've made 400 bucks. I'm, I'm just here. It's already 7 p.m. anyway. So it's not like it's four and I'm like, maybe I can stay another hour. No, it's just my, my whole night is, you know what I mean? Like I, I don't dry, I don't work tomorrow. I don't have to work out. I can stay a little bit longer just to say that I've made 400 bucks and everybody will be happy. And everyone on YouTube, I, I will be able to, to put it in the title and that's great. I would hate to be so close to 400 and be like, nah, I'm just tired. I don't want to be making the, the remaining $5 that I need to make 400. Like, I this is not who I am. I am not a quitter, okay? And I will be making 400 bucks. Please and thank you. Of course, I'm getting behind the, the slowest person ever. You know when you're trying to go fast 
and th th there is just someone. Starbucks? Okay. $23? I'm 100% sure this is a problem order, so I'm not gonna take it. Starbucks, $23 for three miles. And I'm pretty sure that's a problem order. So yeah, no, no thanks. Not taking chances right now. And my, my cancellation rate has been going down on Uber as well. So I'm just trying to keep it down. I'm, I'm trying to get it back to zero. Uh, it was up to 4%. So now let's focus on getting good deliveries and not problem deliveries. You know when it's like a high payout on the food order, you know that there is a problem. Right, I didn't record because um, I didn't know where she was and um, there were kids around, you know, it's like, uh, you know, they were playing outside, so. And, and she was, so basically it's like, a, they all have the same address, but then it's like and a half and she didn't put the correct number. Anyway, she was there, she met me uh, outside, so it's all good. I was trying to hurry up because I was parked kind of in front of the driveway, but there is never any parking in this freaking uh, street, so. Oh well. I'm going back to the store at 7.15. Um, I am like $5 and some change away from 400, so I am waiting for an order because that order ended up being $8.83. But I did refund uh, the two whatever frozen ch raspberries chocolate that she wanted. Uh, they didn't have it, so oh well. She had the refund option already chosen, so oh well. I mean, altogether, it was a $30 stack order, so I'm okay with it ultimately. Um, I just need one last order and I'll be done for the day. I have never made that much money in one single day ever. Okay, so what happened is I got an $8 order when I was in there for one item, two units, two pizza dough. So I accepted it and obviously it was out of stock, but I didn't realize that I would get the base pay. So while I was on the chat with support, I accepted a $15 order on Uber because I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get $0 for this Instacart order. And I'm literally $5 away from 400. And I'm so freaking tired and it's gonna be 8 p.m. in 10 minutes. And I was like, I just need to get whatever order, you know? And it was a good order, 15 bucks for seven items or whatever. And then they canceled the batch. And then I realized that I got $6 in batch pay. <laughs> so I was, I was over 200. I didn't need to take the Uber order, but I had it. So I decided to, t I mean, I'm not gonna unassign it. You know, it's stupid. So I completed it and now I'm gonna go deliver it. And uh, after that, I'm going home because I am tired as hell. <laughs> but, I will be over 400 after this one. She has a pin number, but I don't think she's gonna answer the door. I don't know. I just killed my ears right now with this. And I have a big dog. Ow. Okie dokie, well, I was wrong. Uh, he came out, gave me the pin number, and uh, now we are off uh, to go home. <laughs> because it's gonna be 8 p.m. in one minute. And I arrived at about 6.45 this morning at the store. So I am extremely pleased with how today went. I made more than $400. Like I said, I've never made that much money in one day on those apps. Uh, I was blessed enough to get this $81 order this morning. I mean, it's very easy to make 400 bucks when you get $80 orders all day. Um, but yeah, 
I'm very happy. Uh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this because Lord, the Lord knows I definitely need the money. Um, I've been struggling. <sighs> That's funny because today, yesterday actually, two people in the store. I don't. I think some people are under the impression that I have ten thousand of. I have thousands of dollars on a bank account hidden somewhere and I just do this for shits and giggles and when I say that I'm struggling with money I am like half joking and you can go sir I don't like it when you guys are driving right at the same freaking speed as me go ahead and do your own thing brother You don't need to uh, be up my ass. And yesterday, Take the second. two people, my friend and one employee, were like, eh, we know you're joking. We know you have $10,000 on a bank account hidden in France. And I was like, uh, is that what you think? And I showed them my bank account in France. And they, there is 206 euros on that bank account. And there is $300 on my US bank account. <laughs> so I'm not so sure. I'm, I don't know what to tell you really. When I tell you I'm struggling, I am struggling, okay? I'm trying to pay for all the shit that I have to pay. Everything has to be paid at the same goddamn time. And I basically have no money. And I, I literally made six hundred dollars last weekend and it all went into card payments internet and uh internet bill i still have my phone to pay for 170 per month bro uh and i still have my car loan 217 at the end of the month i had my car insurance that Got, uh, that went through yesterday okay can you go please and I also have my new loan that I have to pay every third of the month that's $512 every month so what I do is that I put $500 on the side as soon as I can and I don't touch this money basically this is for the loan so it's so because it's so close to rent I know that if I don't put this money aside, I might very well not have it when I need to. Like, I have it, but maybe not on the third. So I put it on the side and I don't touch it. But I don't have even 500 bucks on the side on any account. I don't have it. I just don't. So that's why I'm so grateful for those $400 that basically are going to go in my bank account and I'm not going to touch them. Uh, but yeah, that was very much needed. Thank you very much, Lord Jesus. I mean, I did work hard for this money. I'm not just right here, like, you know, uh, looking around and doing absolutely nothing. But I am working for this money, for sure. So, I deserve it. Because I work so hard for it. But at the same time, I'm really happy that I got all of those great orders today. And I said that I was going to push I said that I was going to push through and stay longer on the days that it's actually busy and I held to my word because when it's busy I need to stay so I can make the most money I can. Especially this week when I went home early Monday, Thursday and I took Tuesday and Wednesday off. This week I'm taking Monday, Tuesday off and every other day I need to be on my A game. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting on the freeway, so I'm gonna let you go here. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you made a lot of money. And do you know how long it's been since I had to turn my lights on on my car? A long time. See you later.